So I created an edible fruit wall on the southern edge of my yard and it's doing very well and I've started to actually incorporate some permaculture concepts back there. However, I really think it's lacking something and that is a bit of tropical foliage. Although the Cavendish Dwarf Bananas look good, I decided I needed something there. In this video I'm going to tell you exactly what I did and how I spruced up this entire length of fence for just $26. In this video I'm going to talk all about crotons, an amazing colorful shrub. Check out this video I'm showing right now on the tag on the screen. If you want to see some cool footage of the crotons that are in my yard, I just added two new beautiful specimens and here they are. If you're interested in adding some crotons to your yard, you can easily have them shipped to you from Amazon. I provide links down in the description. Go ahead and use those links as well as the seedsnow.com links in the description to support each backyard helps the channel anything you buy while you're there supports the channel doesn't cost you anything extra okay let's get right back to it so each one of these potted plants cost me roughly thirteen dollars at my local landscaping store and they are both varieties I haven't seen a lot of around here lately this one used to be fairly common but this one I haven't seen much at all so it was a real find usually we have the Mamie crotons stocked up at all the stores which is this variety here Another beautiful, absolutely stunning variety of croton, but these two varieties, wow. Look, when you see the sun go through the leaves, the color that they get. This one I just am in love with, as well as this one. Um, this one is the Petra croton. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume that I'll let it get to its full height of about five feet and that's just about right. They say space it out about three feet away it can go down to about 30 degrees of temperature and you should fertilize it annually. Yeah and th although they don't uh, they don't really say it on the description here the amount of sunlight that it requires I would say that these thrive in partial sunlight to shade. Uh, this one I love that speckly color on the leaves. It's going to be fantastic. It adds a vibrant kind of brightness to anywhere you plant it. Uh, this one gets to be about six feet tall. It's the Sunny Star Croton, Estrella Acelita Croton. And uh, they again space it three feet apart, hardy down to 30 degrees, fertilize it. They don't really go into the, into the uh, description on. on its sun requirements, but again, shady. This wall has been something I've evolved up over the last year or so, year and a half. Uh, videos all throughout the channel on the evolution of this thing. And then here's the What You Got Growing On series grow table. But I have some branches I put there, I was hoping to let them shed their leaves. I think I'm going to move them out and clear this general area out. And my plan is to place crotons all throughout there. And you might think, well, I only have two pots, but the thing is, I got crotons that are two in a pot on this one, and five down in this one. So I'm gonna gently divide them and show you how I do that, and that'll produce a total of seven crotons. And my plan is to kind of intersperse them throughout here. I might even have one left over to put in another part of my yard. Okay. Let's get into how we divide these. By the way, I would do that in a very shady location so you don't dry out the roots too rapidly. You don't want to damage the roots in any way by drying them out or by cutting them if possible, which is why I'm going to use gloves to try to pull them apart. Okay, the first variety of croton I'm going to separate is the petrocroton. And it's always interesting to see what kind of root structure you've purchased. No way to know. By looking at it, uh, hopefully there's a root structure in there. But they look pretty vibrant, so I think there probably is. Oh yeah, we can work with this. Oh, look, 
best possible scenario. These broke directly in half. I'm gonna leave that one laying down. Two, beautiful. This is exactly, I can't imagine it being better. But that looks like a third cutting that died. Can't imagine a better cut. All right, let's see if we get as lucky with the other one. Okay, now for the sunny star. A little bit more root growth in there. Gently. Okay, I'm going to do these as I need them because I don't want to over stress them but they will come loose, and as long as I water them in, they'll do just fine. They've got healthy roots. I just don't want to uh, leave them all laying here dried out because they're not as well rooted as I had hoped. Okay, now I'm gonna decide where I'm gonna place the holes for these crotons, uh, making seven holes along here, and my plan is to just put the two big ones somewhere like that, and then the other ones interspersed all throughout. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now that I've got a couple holes dug, I also, now that I've got a couple holes dug, I also enrich the soil with a little bit of soil medium. I'll leave a link in the description to that. I just use Miracle Grow. And now I'm going to put a couple of those crotons in and watch the difference that it makes. Now I'll go ahead and dig the rest of the holes, stir up the soil, plant the remaining crotons, and I'll give you a look at what it looks like in the finished product. Okay, so here it is, the finished planting. Next thing I have to do is just water it. You can see the approach I took was to plant them a little closer than recommended. They're going to be in partial shade here, which I think is really going to make their colors light up. I've used plenty of good miracle Grow potting soil links in the description. <laughs> and now I'm going to water them. And I left one final spot that I'm going to plant out here by the beach shower. It's going to be right here. So here we are, the finished product. $26, I got seven protons. But I think you're going to look pretty good. They're right back here in this shady spot where they're going to be able to grow for a nice long time. Plenty of good soil to help them along the way. So hey, if you like these kinds of videos, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the all notifications. That way you'll be notified as live streams come out. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like these kinds of videos. Thanks for watching. Eat your backyard.